Así no. que, pero ya estoy acá, presente. Eh, gracias. Gracias por preguntar, Wendy. Va, ahí, ahí, ahí estábamos pendientes. Gracias. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Les decía que a nosotras cuatro nos debían de dar premio por la puntualidad. Ok, ok, ok. La medalla. <risa> Una estrellita. <risa> la medalla al mérito. Al menos un punto extra. Ah, oh, vale. oh, ok. Perfecto. I'm going to take into account. 101 le van a dar a, a Zaira. <risa> Para llegar al 100 y un punto más. <risa> Ay, eso fuera bonito. <risa> Claro. Muy bueno. Ya. Muy, muy bueno. Ana Lilian is there too. Saira, and what happened yesterday? It was difficult for you to connect it. I was waiting the, the screenshot related with the, the message that you got. Yes, the teacher. Yes. Uh, I know it can connect it. My connection eh, eh, internet uh, no servía. Ah, your service. Yeah. Okay. Okay.
Okay, Laura, Laura is there. Hello, Laura. Hello, teacher. How are you? How are you? I'm uh, fine. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. Okay, I hope we've got uh, the attendance. Let me see how many people do we have, 11. Okay. Welcome, Maria Concepcion. How are you? How do you feel today? Hello, teacher. I am sick. <laughs> ah, you feel sick? Yeah. Um, is together. I have the, um, the flu. The flu? Yes. Um, um, my head hurts. Uh, I don't know. I do headache? Uh, yes. Okay. Anna Lilian, how had you been, Anna Lilian? Hi, teacher. Hola, Ayer no me conecté, teacher, porque no estaba en la casa. Ah. Oh. Pero no andaba paseando, tuve una emergencia con mi. Okay. No me conecté. Okay, okay. No problem. Ana Beatriz, do you feel better? How do you feel? Teacher. Better now? Yes, teacher. Okay. Let me see who's sitting there. Jonathan is there too. Welcome, Jonathan. Thank you, President. Okay, Jonathan. Okay, let me just cut the attendance now. Thank you. 
Uh, another thing that I would like to tell you before we start checking the attendance is that I've been checking your grades. He estado revisando sus notas y no encuentro, no encontré actividades de eh, Son of You. I don't know, I, I don't want to mention your names. But um, there are like uh, two, like two, hay dos que no tienen ninguna actividad todavía. Entonces eso es uh, preocupante porque a estas alturas ya casi vamos en aterrizaje, ¿no? Y ahí el resto ya está actualizado su cuadro. Um, la semana 2 y 3 solo en espera de la semana 4. Pero hay unos que no tienen ni una, ni el midterm examen. Entonces, I invite you to work on it. Recuerden que en la siguiente mañana de cuando terminamos el módulo, yo actualizo notas. Si, por ejemplo, terminásemos, eh, un ejemplo, terminásemos viernes a las, el sábado 8 de la mañana, yo tengo mi cuadro listo y lo envío. Entonces, por favor, a ponerse al día, porque hay algunos que sí no tienen solo. Algunos tienen la, la semana 1 y 2. No es mucho lo que hace falta. Pero algunos sí me preocupa que no tienen ni el midterm. So, please, I invite to do it. Okay, Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Okay, Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Escobar. Present. Selina. Present. Diana. Diana. Ah, no, sí, Diana. ¿sí? Eric Orlando. Gracias. Ok, Eric. José Jonathan. Gracias, Michelle. Ok. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Ok. Laura. Present teacher. María Concepción. Present teacher. Ok. María Elena. María Elena. Here. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Welcome, sir. Mayra Veralice. Mayra Veralice. Mayra. Saira Marlene. Present teacher. Misael. 
Listen, teacher. Yes, there is there. Michelle is there too. Wendy, my bad. Present teacher. Okay, Wendy. And Yesenia Lisset. Yesenia Lisset. Not here, not here, okay, not here. Okay, let us start talking. Uh, this is class 22. Today we are going to talk about uh, the relevance and effective major management. How important is it? But before we talk about the topic, let us talk about this situation in order that you get familiar with the language. We have an activity facing new challenges. Um, right, see, right here it says pair words, choose a situation, then ask your partner a question about it, using the words in the, the box. Pay term. You are going to choose one of the, the four situations that I have here. Moving to another city, going to a new university or school, starting a new job, or getting married. I don't want to talk about getting divorced. No, getting married can be better. And also, you can use some words that we have in the box right here. You can use it. We, we have an example. If you were moving to another city, what would you uh, be nervous about? And somebody answered, once in a while, I'd be nervous about is not having any friends around. I'd be worried about feeling lonely, you know? Okay, try to choose one of the situations that we have here. And then we are going to Look for a partner. Everything clear? Yes? Everything is clear? My interactions? Hello. Clear. Clear, okay. Remember, you are going to choose one of these situations and then you are going to use words in, in the box, like the example that we have here. And later on, you are going to share the information. Okay. A screenshot, please. Here we go. 14, let me see, I got a message here. Yesenia is driving, uh, he's on drug. Okay. Don't worry, Jesse. Okay, let us talk five minutes about this.
Me dejaron sola, ticha, no me quieren. <laughs> hey, let, let me see, let me see what happened. Maybe the, the person uh, was a listener or something like that. No sé, solo entró y se salió. No oh, maybe, maybe connection, could be connection. No es que no lo quiera. I don't see the rest. I don't know. They lost the connection, maybe. Okay. You can uh, you can do it in pairs. In the way that you interact, you can do it. Let us see, Jonathan, what about you, Jonathan? Hi, Mr. Es que me sacó. Ah, okay. Okay, well, we're gonna do this. Como lo sacó. I'm going to show you again and you are going to tell me the situation. Okay, you have uh, four different situations. They are moving to another city, going to a new school, starting a new job, getting married. Okay, choose one. Hello, I don't know if you are there. Teacher, uh, Laura uh, will be excite, excited to have a new job. Oh, really? Ah, oh, okay. And what about you? Uh, <laughs> and Maria Concepcion, if Maria Concepcion were proposed, Propose to marry or okay, again, she will feel distress, distresses. <laughs> hmm, how do you say the word? <clears throat> Starting and uh, getting married. Ah, okay. If Maria Concepcion were proposed getting ma married, she would feel distressed. No sé, teacher. Lo que me dijo en español era que si le, le volvieran a proponer matrimonio nuevamente, ella se sentiría estresada o angustiada. Ah, okay. I got your point. Okay, somebody else. Uh, teacher, if they asking me if you were the president of the cooperative, would you be near? Uh, nervous, como se dice, teacher? Pronounce? Nervous. 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 Nervous.
Nervous about Nerv that thing? No nervous. Nervous. Okay. Nervous and the asking is nervous uh, about taking on the chase. It very depressing is on the company cooperative. Uh, will we? Why would you be nervous? The truth is that is the very big change and responsibility because I the working with my team with the money on the employees. Oh, okay, I got your point. Okay, thank you. Somebody else? In my case, teacher, I feel nervous, visit um, a medic. Well, you, you, you feel nervous I, when? I'm sorry. Yeah. You feel nervous when? Is it a doctor? Okay, you are going to say. Hello, hello, Wendy, 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 Wendy. Okay. You can say, I feel nervous when I visit a doctor. Yeah, when, okay. Okay, I, I feel, I feel nervous visit a doctor when I I I I feel sick, for example, for injections or or a blue exam. I nervous. I got nervous. I feel nervous. Yeah, but but what about the situation that you just related with the the. The slide that I show you. Okay, so Maria, please. Teacher. Oh, sir. I I just moving to another city. Okay. And uh, one thing I'll be nervous is uh, moving from one place to another or dealing with address. Okay. Okay, okay. Maria. I feel nervous when I'm going to present all the projects of saving that I have in the company. And I talk with corporative that always is in English, so I get really nervous. Okay. okay. Somebody else? Somebody Okay, thank you very much. Uh, we are going to continue with the topic.
And we had uh, two questions for today. How, how, do, how do I calculate the right amount of inventory to stop? And the second one, how do I determine the right price for my inventory? I need that you think in this uh, two questions. And give me your answers. I'm going to give you time in order that you can think about. You can find those questions on page number uh, 35. There you can find it. Okay, tell me. Your ideas, your ideas. Hello, tell me, what do you think about the first question? Any idea? Uh, Demon, teacher, Demon, uh, replacing time. Uh, I sent a lead time, purchase it or product time. Okay, yeah, could be based on that. What else? Oh. Or maybe teacher, because this is something new for me. So what I, what comes to my mind when it says how do I calculate? I guess they count it one by one. That's something that I can think about. That. But they take the time to count uh, exactly what they have. Ah, uh, huh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. What else? Mister, maybe um, final inventory or last uh, inventory um, plus um, purchases, new purchases. Ah, okay, I got it. Uh, less um, uh, sales. Yeah, there are there are uh, specific units. Units. Yeah, there are specific formulas that we can use in order to do this. Okay. What else? I think making sale comparison from previous week. Okay, make comparison, okay. Yeah. Based on that could be two. Okay. What else? Another idea? Sorry. 
somebody else. No ideas. No ideas. No. Here in my in my case, um in in the company uh hasn't the hasn't stuck is a service yeah it's no, a service not product okay okay somebody else And to share where well, house the planning and management in relation to the is the according the customer, others and the 16% more than the production. Ah, the production, okay. Yeah, it, that is another way to use it too. Okay. And what about the second question? What can you tell me related with the second question? Do you remember it or not? Okay, the second question says, how, how do I determine the right price for my inventory? Any idea? No. Okay, I, I need that you try to think uh, in one way how we can determine the right price for my inventory. What do I need to consider in order to, to get the right price?
I remember the previous module we have studied some formula how to calculate the price of the product. Do you remember that? Uh, teacher, um, calculate to, to the total of accumulated costs, uh, total cost less the finite inventory. Okay. Um, and also you need to take into account the internal and external factors, you know. How to do with that too? Okay, let us see some idea fair related with the with the fair question. Okay, we have the two questions. And I remember what uh, Misael mentioned. And one thing, Misael, that we can take into account at the moment, but it is just use of technology because uh, using technology uh, is going to be easier in order to know exactly the amounts of product that we have. The simple way to estimate how much inventory you need is to use inventory management software. Technology can help keep tabs on current stock levels, reduce storage costs for excess inventory and improve relationship with suppliers and vendors. The right software will let you know when you're running short on a product and will make it easy to automatically re reorder items. It can also help you organize your customer and vendor information. Some of you mentioned something related with this. Another uh, element that we can take into account is practice demand planning. And one of you mentioned it too, estimating how much inventory you need to start with. Customer demand planning. This is the practice of forecasting how much your customer will buy from you over a certain period of time. It's uh, tricky to get right since customer trend can be unpredictable, but there are a few data points that can make it easier to forecast them. Another aspect that you need to take into account is the historic trend. How closely do your recent sale represents sale from the same time last year? Uh, another is seasonality. Uh, do you anticipate a holiday rush? Competitive landscape uh, has the competition launch similar product that will impact your target customer. And marketing and promotion, are you running any discount of bundles that may increase the demand? And somebody mentioned this too, do some kind of calculation. If you don't use inventory management software, there are three key uh, calculations that can help you estimate when to reorder your inventory. The first one is the inventory turnover ratio, which tells you how quickly you sell out of stock. This calculation is your sell or cost of goods sold divided by average inventory if 
your inventory turnover ratio is low, you may have excess inventory. You can take into account this one, but also the next calculation is day sales of inventory, DSI. This is the number of days it stays your inventory to sell to get your DSI. The buy inventory by cost of sales and multiply by 365. This calculation is particularly relevant in the context if your industry, the cost turnover varies for different products. For example, ice cream had a lower days inventory than freezer, said the expert. Somebody mentioned this. And finally, Estimate your safety stock or how much stock you should have in case there's a run on a specific product. For instance, umbrellas during a thunderstorm. To find this metric, take an average of your top three day sales volume over the previous months, whether your uh, subtract the average daily sell volume for the same period. You can do it in this way too. But uh, well, I would like to hear from you that I already uh, shared with you uh, some ideas. Which one do you consider is, is the, the best for you? Tell me. All the pen, maybe. Hello. 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 Do you remember the first one that I mentioned? Yes. Don't forget technology. Today, uh, all of the, the companies, they use uh, technology in order to know how uh, inventory is, you know? And that way you can have a better idea at the moment that you need to get more goods. Okay. Let us see what do we have next. Okay, we talk about do some calculation, we talk about a different way. And right now we have a conversation between Susan and Jorge. Uh, they are talking about the basis of how to keep um, organized. Hold on, hold on a second. Inventory system, read the conversation and take your practicing. And her and said, I'm having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay. I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, Jorge. The first step to implement an organized inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet and record notes there consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know, and look here, the label are falling off the package. By labeling inventory properly, you ensure that your product 
get stored accurately in the right spot so that your employees can find them easily when needed. Okay. Any question related with that conversation? No question at all? No question? Okay. okay, thank you, sir. Okay, let us go and practice. Let me see, I got a message here. Okay, Jonathan is having a problem with uh, his connection. Okay, but before to do that, let me share, uh, check the attendance again. Ana Beatriz. Present. Uh, Ana Lilian Reyes. Present. Escobar. Present. Selena. Diana. Present, Selena, here, sir. Okay, Selena, Selena. Diana. Eric. Present. Okay, Jose, Jonathan. Present. Okay, thank you. Laura. Present, teacher. María Concepción. Present. María Elena Guadalupe. María Elena Guadalupe. No está, no, here. Mario Ernesto. Present, teacher. Ok, Mario Ernesto. Mayra Vera Alicia Moreno. Present, teacher. Ah, ahí está, Mayrita, Mayrita, ok. Zaira. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Santos Misael. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Yesenia Lisset Asensio. I don't see you. Yes, yes, yes. Yesenia Lisset Garcia is there. Say hello, Yesenia. Yes, he... maybe, uh, well, okay. Okay, let us continue. Well, I'm going to recreate the groups again. in order that you practice that conversation. Okay, here we go.
What about the rest? I don't see it here. Okay, they are coming, they are coming. Okay, I'm sorry, Maida. I saw you alone and Yesenia too. If you want, you can uh, work together. Me dejaron sola, teacher. Yeah, I, I saw that. Maybe cause the connection. And Yesenia was trying to connect too. Okay, let us see who wants to practice. Volunteers, volunteers. Only two. Me, teacher, and Maria Concepcion. Okay. Maria, está por ahí. Sí, sí, aquí estoy. Te vi que está de valiente, de valiente. Eso es. I am having, I'm having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay, I see you keep notice on any scrap of paper for it. The first step to implement an organization inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I, rec I recommend that you do this uh, and record notice, notice here. Sure, I can do that. I think. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know, and uh, look here, the levels are falling off the pages. By leveling inventory properly, you ensure that your products get started quickly in the right spot to so that your employees can find them easily when needed. Okay. Thank you, is anybody else? Me, teacher, and Selena. Go ahead. All right, so I start. I'm having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay, I see you keep, I see. Keep notes on any scrap of a paper, George. The first step to implement an organized inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet and record notes there consistently. Sure, I can do that. And I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know, and look here. The labels are falling off the packages. By labeling inventory properly, you ensure that your products get stored accurately in the right spot so your employees can find them easily when you need it. Okay, thank you. Next. Next. Zaira and me, teacher. Okay. 
Okay. You hold here. Okay, I have a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. Microphone, Wendy. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I see you keep not on any scrap of paper, Jorge. The first step to implement an organized inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this in a spread, spread a spreadsheet and record not their contents consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give, give much attention to me not. Now you know, and look here, the labels are failing of the package. By labeling inventory properly, you ensure that your product gets stored accurately in the right spot so that you employees can find them easily when needed. Okay, thank you. Next. Who's next? <clears throat> okay, let us continue then if you don't. One practice, okay, let us continue. Okay, the next activity number three is a pair, pair words. Discuss the answer to this question below. Number one, what are some of the some of her heads bad practice in inventory management? Number two, what are Susan's recommendation to solve some of the issues? And number three, what is another suggestion that you could give her head to get his inventory organized? Okay, let me. Let me do something here. Okay, you are going to have a minute to talk with somebody else. And then you are going to give us an answer.
Okay, let us see. Um, Juan Carlos, would you like to read the first question? Yes, teacher. Okay. What are some of George bad practicing inventory manage, management? Okay, management, okay. Uh, in our opinion. Okay. Uh, Jorge is bad. 
in the keep notes on any scrap of paper. And the labels are falling off the package. Okay. Thank you. What about Saira? Uh, Would you like to read question number two, please? The question number two, teacher? Yes, yes, number two. What are Susan recommendation to solve some of the uses? Um, she recommend you do this in a spreadsheet, spreadsheet and record not their consistency. Okay. What are Susan recommendation to solve some of the issues? That is the question. Okay, who wants to read uh, question number three? Who wants to do it? What about uh, what about you, Yesenia? Would you like to read the question number three, please? Yesenia. Or um, Maria Ernesto. Okay. What is another suggestion you could give to Jorge to get his uh, inventory organized? Okay, who wants to answer it? Another suggestion that you can give. I remember I, I gave you like three different options. Any suggestion?
Laura, Laura, what about you, Laura? Yeah. <laughs> Sobre uh, second question, teacher. Uh, no, the, the third one. What? Number, number ah, three, three. Yeah, okay. Uh, she suggestion is labeling inventory properly to ensure uh, they ensure that that their product get stored accurately in the right spot so that they their employees can find it easily when needed. Okay, and now your own suggestion that you can give to her. Uh, to, uh, I'm sorry, to her. Yeah. The, uh -huh. <laughs> they, uh-huh. They. Uh, yes, Susan, she has to is labeling inventory properly, teacher. Yeah, yeah, but, 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 the, but the question is, uh, what is another suggestion you could give her head to get his inventory organized? Your own suggestion. ¿Cuál podría ser su propia sugerencia? Ah, oh, ok. Yeah. I pay. I, you pay es la cosa. Eh, no, I pay. No, you will, you will pay eh, system system automated uh, the inventory teacher for uh, a good control. Okay, who has to do that? ¿Quién tiene que hacerlo? Uh, yours. Ah, okay, yours. <laughs> yours comprar un sistema <laughs> automatizado. Uh, tell us in English, tell us in English. Okay, teacher. No, si se lo dije, teacher. You pay, uh, o sea, Jorge, pay. No, but, no. But, you, but you told me you pay and I don't have to pay. No, entonces sería eh, Dale. <laughs> no, no, no. I know, teacher. Me confundí ya, teacher. <laughs> I confused. <laughs> bueno, la idea es eh, de George pay a system automated the inventory for a new uh, good control the okay. inventory in, in su store in the store la cosa. Ah, you are mixing you are mixing spanish and english yes teacher sorry <laughs> okay Okay, let us uh, let us hear the last suggestion or advice. Somebody. No. Hello, hello, hello. Tell me, tell me. Okay, okay. Let us continue then, if you don't want to talk. Okay, let's continue with the activity number four. On page number 36, let us talk about how to use adverbs to qualify verbs.
I'm going to talk about this topic. Let us show you something. Let me show you something here. Okay, let us see the pressy. Okay, I need the help of you in order to read it. Who wants to read it? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, sir. Uh, adverbs can describe verbs, adjectives, other adverb clauses, or whole sentences. Uh, adverbs answer the question how, when, where, how often, etc. Okay, that means that we have different kinds of adverbs. Could you mention me something based on the on the question that they had to answer? What about uh, the how? How adverbs? How we call it? Adverb of manner. Ah, okay, okay, perfect. What about when? Adverb of time. Okay. What about where? Adverb of? Place. Place and how often? Adverb of? Frequency. Frequency, okay, that's nice. Let us continue then, if you know. Okay, let us talk about the advert of manner. Somebody, somebody else wants to read it? Who wants to read it? Come on, I need that you participate. Adverb of manner are words that des describe verb. They, they see adverbs and when the question how oh, they des describe how an action is done. Example. My friend spoke. How did he speak? He is, is spoke while quickly, quickly, quickly. Yes. My, my dear friends laugh. Like, laugh. Laugh. How did she loud. She loud. 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 Okay, thank you, uh, Anna Lillian. Adverb as manner are words that describe verbs. This adverb answer the question how. They describe how an action is done. Listen, listen. Describe how an action is done. Example, my friend spoke. How did he speak? He spoke quickly. My girlfriend laughed. How did she laugh? She laughed loudly. Okay, I, I need that you understand this because we are talking about the question how. And you can see the example here. May I continue? Yes. Yes, okay. We got some rules. Who wants to read it? It is a rules. Adjective and give a a d d live careful carefully. Adjective and g 
a says to Amy, looky, look lint. Adjective ng, blue, says to black, responsible, responsibly. Okay, we have some rules. The first one says objective and in, in L, at L, Y. Careful, carefully. You need to take a look at this letter. This is L, objective ending in L, like this one. You are going to add another L in the letter Y. Careful, carefully. Is that clear? Yes or not? Adjetivos terminados en L, agregue L, E, Y, E. If we can say it that way, you know, careful, carefully. Some people say Y y Latin a different way, but no. Okay, the second one, adjective ending in Y, change to I, L, Y, like lucky, luckily. You see here? And the last one, adjective ending in B L E change to B L Y. Responsible. Responsibly. If you want, you can say not about or make a screenshot because I, I need that you have this. Because you are you are going to use it later. May I continue? Yes. Okay. We have some example here. Uh, we have the adjective and at the same time with the adverb, for example, happy, you switch into happily and you need to apply the rule. Careful, carefully. Okay, somebody wants to read it. Hello, hello. A volunteer who wants to read it. Okay, no hay voluntarios, okay, okay. My teacher. Do it, Maria. For adjective adverbs, happy, happily, careful, careful, attractive, attractively, beautiful, beautifully, bad, badly, love, lovely, responsible, responsibly, intelligent, intelligent, breath, breathly, look, look. Ah, okay. Happy, happy, happily, careful, carefully, attractive, attractively, beautiful, beautifully, bad, badly, love, lovely, responsible, responsibly, intelligent, intelligently, brave, bravely, and lucky, luckily. Okay. Okay, close of the time. I need to know a little bit. Okay, hold on. And also we have some exceptions. So an adverb don't change at all for an objective form. Other adverb become different words. Okay, we need to be careful. Be careful about. For example, we can have this word in the same way, but in different uses, like fast as an objective and at the same time as an adverb. Good, switch into well. Hard, it is the same. 
late, we can use it as an objective, but at the same time as an object. Okay, don't confuse the adverb hard with means a lot of, uh, or a big effort with hardly, which is an adverb that means almost none. For example, she studied hard for the test. She studied a lot. And the next example says she hardly studied. She barely studied. She almost didn't study at all. Well, uh, let us talk about sentence position too. Let a most adverb of many go after the verb in the sentence. Verb plus uh, an adverb. I need to get bigger now that you can see it. Okay, let, let, but let me tell you. Let it be, it is also possible to put the adverb of manner after the object in a sentence. The adverb is still describing the verb. And let us see some adverb of manner can also go before the verb. Let me try to show you. Yeah, you got, you got the examples. Who wants to read it? Who wants to read it? Ah, she arrived firstly at her boyfriend's house. You see the position? My friend danced, danced beautifully. My brother-in-law spoke intelligently about marriage. What about the, uh, uh, the next one that is let it be? We have some example. She arrived at her boyfriend's house previously. We can put it at the end. My brother-in-law spoke about marriage intelligently. And let us see, says an adverb, manner can also go before the verb. You need to take into account the position she furiously arrived at her boyfriend's house. He briefly say her from falling down. Okay, now let me see the time that I got. Okay, I'm sorry, I'll need to stop chatting here. This and go to our material. Let me see where I have it. I got it here. Let me get bigger in order that you can see it very well. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, you got it there. Okay, next is our four. See how to use adverb to qualify verbs. Look at the example in the box, then complete the exercises below. Let us see. Okay, um, use adverb to communicate where, when, why, how, how often, how much, or to what degree. They qualify the action and the claims we make. I, I show you something before previously about this, that they answer uh, some question. And based on the question, it is the type of salver that we are talking about. Let us see the example that we have here, organized here inventory efficiently, record information accurately, Check for possible improvement consistently. Revise processes slowly. Communicate with your distributor regularly. Change your inventory practice incrementally. Otherwise, I, we can see that say, many adverbs are created, but the putting together an object here and adding the subject. L Y 
For example, efficient plus ly efficiently. Accurate plus ly accurately. Consistent plus ly consistently. You see? Let me see the time we got. Okay, now um, you need to focus your attention in the question that the other uh, answer at the moment that you are going to, if you need to know what kind of salary you are using, you are going to, to ask the questions. But in this case, uh, we are talking about manners, I guess, uh, yeah. And the way how you, you do something. And uh, I'm going to show you again the conversation that we have here. And I need that you identify how they, they use it. Okay, you can you you can see it there. And also you can see the position. Okay, I don't know if you have any questions so far on here. And later on, I'm going to share with you some exercises in order that you can uh, practice. Because right now is the time. Okay, uh, let me show the, the following examples. Or exercises, if you want to say no way. Okay, let me show you this. Okay, we already talked about this. Uh, most, in most cases, are not very formed by adding uh, LY. Okay, what about this three exam uh, exercise that we have here? How can you create an advert in order to you you can you are going to use the this this object in order to create an advert right here? For that reason we have it in a in, in a different way, you know. 
Okay. We live in a high suburban street, even the dog bar. How can we create an, an advert with this attitude? Number two, this is a dangerous road. We are driving close to the shoulder. And number three, my friends, Alice is a polite young woman. She asked if she could borrow my boyfriend's, Alice said. Okay, tell me. ¿Cómo puedo convertir el adjetivo en adverbio? ¿Qué es lo que yo debo de hacer? I already explained some rules that you need to follow. ¿Cómo sería la primera? Tell me. It says we live on a, on a quiet suburban street. Even the dog barks quietly. Yeah, yeah, that, it is in that. Way. What about number two? Number two, this is a dangerous road we are driving. Dangerously. Dangerously close to the shoulder. And number three, my friends, uh, Alice. Say it, say it, say it. She's a polite young woman. She asked. How can I use this word uh, and switch it into an adverb to put it here? Remember that you need to apply the rules. For literally, teacher. For light? For lightly. <laughs> ah. Okay, you have some ideas about. Okay, thank you very much. Let me see the time that we have now. Okay, let me check out the attendance again. Ana Beatriz? Present. Hey, Ana Lilian? Present. Hey, Escobar? Escobar, Escobar. Selena? Present. Okay, Diana. Eric. Jose Jonathan. Present, Mister. Okay. Juan Carlos. Present, teacher. Laura. Present, teacher. Mario Concepción. Present teacher. Mario Elena. Present teacher. Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Mayra Veralice. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, hold on a second. 
María Elena, María Elena is not here. María Elena. María Elena. Saira. Present teacher. Okay. Misael. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Yes, señor Lisset. Jesse, Jesse. It's not here. And Maria Elena is not here too, okay? No? Okay. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. I hope to see you in the next class. Good night. Good night. Blessing. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. See night. you tomorrow. See you, see you, see you, see you. Bye. No se olviden completarme las actividades que les faltan en la plataforma, por favor. No me falta una tarea, teacher. Hola. Solo me falta una tarea. Wow. Pero no, no la puedo hacer. Which one? Do you have the number? Es la... Um... Es sobre unos eh, verbos. A ver. Yes, but, but I need I need to have the numbers so that it is. Una captura así privada. Ah, okay. Sí, porque necesito el número de la actividad, si es la 3.1, la... La de la sección 4. Ah, okay, la 4.2, la 4.3, I don't know. I need to see it. La 4.9. Ah, okay. 4.9. And based on that, I'm going to give you some okay. ideas. The following verse. Y aparece manufacturing supply, supply, distribute, manage y retail. Ah, ok. O sea, ahí todavía estoy perdida. Yo creo que no hemos llegado ahí todavía. Más creo que no hemos llegado a ese tema. Ah, esa es la que yeah. me falta. Ok. Good night, teacher. El resto is done, right? Ok, sí, ya. Ah, ok. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay. Eric, are you there? I don't know if you have any questions so far.